Chancellor Rachel Reeves has put the NHS front and center, making it the cornerstone of her new budget. Her budget pledges significant new funding for Britain's beloved healthcare system, aiming to address long-standing issues. This comes amidst a tough economic backdrop, with the country facing financial challenges. Tax increases and more borrowing loom large, adding pressure to the economy. But Reeves' focus on the NHS sends a clear message to the public and stakeholders. She wants to reassure a worried public that their healthcare needs are being prioritized. The message? Healthcare is a top priority for this administration. This investment aims to make the NHS stronger and more efficient. More surgical hubs, scanners, and radiotherapy machines are planned to enhance medical services. The goal is clear tackle waiting lists and improve care for all patients. This cash injection should modernize the NHS, making it fit for the future. It needs to be ready for a growing, aging population. This budget speaks volumes about the government's priorities. The Labour government knows what matters to people and is acting on it. The NHS is always a top concern for voters. Reeves' announcement offers reassurance. Your health matters to this government. It's at the heart of this government's plan, ensuring a healthier future for all. The budget allocates a hefty £1.5 billion, or $1.9 billion, for specific improvements across the healthcare system. New surgical hubs are planned to enhance the efficiency and reach of medical services. More scanners will be bought to ensure quicker and more accurate diagnoses. This investment will significantly boost the NHS's capacity to handle more patients. The government aims for 2 million more appointments each year, reducing the backlog. Cutting waiting times is crucial for patient satisfaction and health outcomes. This expansion aims to achieve that. But that's not all. There's more to come. £70 million will go towards new radiotherapy machines, enhancing cancer treatment. This highlights the government's focus on cancer care. Modernising radiotherapy is vital for better outcomes. The NHS needs to offer the best treatments available to its patients. This will improve cancer survival rates. These investments are strategic and well-planned. They target the NHS's weakest points, ensuring comprehensive improvements. Surgical capacity and radiotherapy are under strain and need urgent attention. Addressing this directly will have the biggest impact on patient care. Patients will feel the difference in their care and overall experience. The extra funding has a clear purpose. It needs to tackle the huge backlog of patients. COVID-19 had a devastating impact. Years of underfunding made things worse. The government's target is ambitious. Two million more appointments a year would be a game changer. However, Health Secretary Wes Streeting sounds a note of caution. He warns that this might not be enough. Avoidable deaths might still happen. The coming winter could bring a crisis. His words are a stark reminder. The NHS faces huge challenges. Long-term investment is the only answer. Despite this, the government's commitment is clear. 40,000 more appointments each week is a start. New equipment will make a difference. These are positive steps. The NHS will be better equipped to care for us all. There's no escaping it. The NHS needs more money to continue providing essential services. To pay for it, the government has to raise taxes, a decision that affects everyone. A 40 billion pound gap in public finances needs filling, and it won't be easy. Several options are on the table, each with its own set of challenges. Employer national insurance contributions could rise, impacting businesses. Capital gains tax and inheritance tax might increase too, affecting many. These proposals will be controversial, sparking public debate. Some will accept them as necessary for the greater good. Others will worry about the impact on businesses and individuals, fearing financial strain. The government's hand is forced, the economy is struggling, and action is needed. Tough choices need to be made, with no easy answers. Raising taxes to fund the NHS is one of them. Expect fierce debate and opposition. Opposition parties will likely criticize this approach. 
offering their own solutions. Finding the balance is never easy, but it's crucial. Essential public services need funding to operate effectively. But taxes can't cripple businesses and individuals, creating more problems. The government's proposals must navigate this tightrope carefully. The NHS must be protected, ensuring it can serve the public. But the burden on taxpayers needs careful consideration to avoid undue hardship. Tax increases are never popular. Even if they are necessary, people will complain. Critics will argue that the NHS should tighten its belt. They will demand spending cuts and greater efficiency. They will point to waste and bureaucracy within the NHS. This argument misses the bigger picture. The NHS has been starved of funding. Efficiency savings alone won't solve the problem. This is about ideology as much as economics. Some believe in a strong public sector. They accept that this requires higher taxes. Others want a smaller government. They see private health care as the answer. Labor's decision is brave, but risky. Will voters punish them for raising taxes? Or will they understand that it's the only way to save the NHS? The new funding is welcome, but some argue that it's not enough. The NHS needs more than just money. It needs radical reform. They believe the current system is broken. It's inefficient, bureaucratic, and unaccountable. They want to see fundamental change. Opinions vary wildly. Some defend the NHS. They believe in a publicly funded, publicly run system. Others want to see more private involvement. They believe this would improve efficiency and give patients more choice. All eyes are on the government. What will they do? For now, their focus is clear. They need to address the immediate funding crisis. In the long term, more radical reforms might be needed. Only time will tell. Labour's task is far from easy. They need to rebuild the NHS. This requires more money. More money means higher taxes. Can they persuade voters that this is the right course of action? Public trust is fragile. People are already feeling the pinch. The cost of living is rising. Adding to that burden is a gamble. Labour is betting on the NHS. They believe that people will accept higher taxes if they see real improvements in healthcare. The stakes are high. If Labour succeeds, they will secure the future of the NHS. They will also strengthen their own position. Failure, however, would be disastrous. It would damage public trust. It could even lead to the dismantling of the NHS as we know it. Only time will tell if Labour's plan will work. Will the extra funding be enough? Will the tax increases be acceptable? Can the NHS be reformed? These are the questions that hang in the air. One thing is certain. This is a pivotal moment. The NHS is at a crossroads. The choices made now will have far-reaching consequences. The public needs reassurance. They need to know that the NHS is in safe hands. They need to believe that Labour has a plan. A plan to secure a healthier future for everyone.